Hey y'all, welcome in or welcome back, whichever the case may be. This is our 31 Days of Prevention series. Today is day number nine, where we have an opportunity to come together to share information, inspiration, and motivation to increase awareness and prevent future and ongoing domestic violence. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Marcy Batiste. I'm the founder and executive director here at Nine Seconds. We're a progressive nonprofit organization based in Phoenix, Arizona with a heart-centered mission and a non-traditional approach to domestic violence. Uh, every nine seconds, a woman is either abused or assaulted in this country and it's simply not okay. Um, and leaving is just not that simple. Prevention is not just that simple. It's a complex problem that requires complex and non-traditional solutions and that's what we're here for. Um, today's message, I wanna talk to you um, about the recovery process. Uh, recovering from domestic violence um, because you know a big part of prevention isn't just preventing it on the front end which is huge but it's also um, if you've been in an abusive relationship and have been successful at getting out um, on average women leave about seven times before they stay gone for good in other words they continue to return to the abuser um, and even if they don't return to that same abuser, uh, what happens a lot of times if you've not fully recovered from your experience is you tend to pick new abusers with different names and different faces, as which was the case with me. Um, so yeah, I'm a sister survivor. I get it. Um, our team is built uh, with sister survivors, women from a variety of different backgrounds with a plethora of different experiences with one thing in common and that's we understand it's not that simple it's not simple to get out it's not simple to stay out um, it's not simple to avoid it in the future unless you understand the complexities of it um, and so today we're going to talk about recovery because healing after you've gotten out is critical to preventing it from happening in the future to you um, i wrote a book a few years ago called surviving the rain to find the rainbow this is a um, it's five steps to domestic violence recovering and so in this book I really talk through um, there's five different phases of the recovery process um, and I'm gonna go over them real quickly in this video if you want more information you can reach out to me on any one of my social platforms whether it's LinkedIn Twitter Facebook YouTube whatever um, and we can go over it in more detail you can also get the book on my website but um, you have to understand these, especially the first four phases, because those first four phases are going to get you to phase five, which is the rainbow, right? So RAIN is actually an acronym. It stands for Realization, Acknowledgement, Investment, and New Normal. Um, that's what RAIN stands for. And then the fifth step is the rainbow. Realization is the first step. That's realizing what you're in, realizing what domestic violence is, realizing what you're facing, realizing that you have to make some, some pretty significant changes, that doing what you've always done is gonna get you what you've always gotten, and that could end up uh, costing you your life, quite honestly. Um, the second part is acknowledgement. Um, and that's that for me personally was a hard part. It was a really hard part. Um, I was physically assaulted, so I physically had the bruises, the black eyes, the scratches, the the busted mouth. I had all of that. And when it came time for me to make steps to towards my recovery, it was a hard thing for me to acknowledge that I was an abused woman. Um, I, I steer clear as much as possible of saying victim because I think that what we say affects how we think. And so I, I've, I've never wanted to think in terms of being a victim. Um, I was assaulted. I was abused. I was all those things. Um, but that's not who I am. Uh, that's not my identity. So acknowledging the fact, uh, spe specifically when I actually had to start seeking help and walking into a room full of other women who had been abused. Um, you know, I walked into the room and I'm looking around like, I don't belong here. This ain't me. I'm not them. I'm not her. Um, this was a, a one-time thing. 
those are the lies I was telling myself because I was struggling with acknowledgement. It wasn't a one-time thing. He had done several things. Just in that particular relationship, he had done several things leading up to the final attack that almost killed me. So acknowledgement is huge. Um, the third part is, so we've got realization, we've got acknowledgement. The third piece is investment. You have to change what you invest in. And when I say investments, I'm not talking just financial investments. I'm talking your emotional investments. I'm talking about your physical investments as far as how you invest your time, how you invest your, your resources, um, what things that you pour into and who you pour into. Who are you making investments in? Are you making investments in yourself? Are you making investments in your children? Are you making investments in family? Where is your energy going? Where is your spirit going? Where is, is your, your being going? Those are all different forms of investments. And we really talk in the book, I talk a great deal about investments because how we invest and who we invest um, our energy and our time in has a direct impact on the results that we get. So we've got realization, acknowledgement, investments, and then the fourth step is your new normal. And that's super, super, super scary. I'm not even going to um, try and minimize that for you because I want women to understand as you're going through this process and you're you're getting out and you're trying to find your, your success, you know, our, our big thing is making sure that you have the, the tools and the resources you need to secure your health, your safety, and your success. Part of that requires that you create for yourself, for your family, a new normal. Meaning you can't do what you've always done. You can't necessarily even go the places you've always went. That was definitely true for me. I had to change everything just so I could make sure that I wouldn't come into contact with this individual, right? And we weren't married. We didn't share children. And that's another whole other um, area of complexities, right? That's a whole other area, rebuilding that new normal, especially when you share children with them, especially if you're married to them. I wasn't married to my abuser. So when we say it's not that simple, trust me, we get it. But you still have to create a new normal for you, a new normal for what your life is going to look like. And then the fifth stage is the rainbow. And that's when you've you've gotten through the realization, you've done your acknowledgments, you've changed up your investments, you've created the new normal, you're starting to live life, you're starting to thrive again, you're starting to feel valuable again, you're feeling successful again. Um, that's your rainbow. That's your rainbow. That's what we're trying to get you to. But I want you to understand that even when you find your rainbow, there's still going to be storms. You're still going to face struggles you're still going to have things and obstacles that you're going to have to overcome so part of that process leading up to that rainbow phase and in your new normal stage is creating an action plan for that creating a a, a sort of um blueprint for what you what you see and how you see your life looking after you've you know safely gotten out of an abusive relationship um, for every rainbow, rainbows don't come unless there's storms, right? That's why they're rainbows. Um, and life, we wouldn't be, I wouldn't be truthful with you if I led you to believe at any time that, that this was going to be easy or that even, you know, breaking these down into five steps, it seems like it should be simple. It's not, it's never that simple. It's, it's just not simple. Um, it's not simple at all. And if I've, if I've heard myself say that one time, I've heard myself say that a million times. Um, it's not that simple. Um, it's not simple, but it's possible. It's possible. It's possible for you and it's possible for the next woman. And I know that for sure because it was possible for me. It was possible for the women on our team. Like I said, your support advocates here at Nine Seconds, our training advocates here at Nine Seconds, all have experience with domestic violence in one way or another so we're not we're not bringing you tools and we're not leading you toward resources that are not going to help you in this five-step process 
So your realization, we have the tools to help you understand domestic violence and understand um, what it is you're up against, understanding the cycle. That was hard for me to to get out of something that I didn't understand that I was in. I didn't know I was in a cycle. I didn't understand the cycle of abuse. Um, acknowledgement, like I said, accepting the reality of what your life has become is difficult. Because we wanna we wanna try and sugarcoat it a little bit and we wanna try and hold on to whatever it is that we can hold on to um as far as our dignity because so much of our, our self respect and our self worth is stripped away through the abusive process that the little teeny tiny shred if we can find one, we wanna we wanna latch on to that and with that latching on sometimes we tend to walk down um a path towards denial and we can't afford for you to do that. You can't afford that. The cost for that is too much. So acknowledging exactly where you are, what your life is, and the fact that it's time to do some things differently is critical. Um, choosing how you invest, who you invest, what you invest, um, but making sure that you put yourself, your health, your safety um, as a top priority. Uh, oftentimes we tend to push ourselves down the line a little bit. And we can't do that when we're when we're recovering from abuse and if we're trying to prevent it from happening to us again. And then that new normal, like I said, y'all, it's it's got to be different. You can't do what you've always done because you'll get what you've always got. To get something that you've never had, you've got to do something that you've never done. And that is the truest of true things that I can tell you. Um, and it's not simple. It's not easy. Um, but the rainbow... Baby, the rainbow is worth it. It's possible, it's worth it, it's there, it's waiting, and there's people here who can help you. So if I'm speaking to you, if I'm speaking to someone that you may know or suspect, someone that you love and care about, who you think might be facing an abusive relationship and kind of at a loss, um, you can please reach out to me. You can order the book. Um, the book walks you through all of the processes. There's even, you know, there's checklists in here, you guys. There's checklists in here to say, like, am I being abused? There's also a checklist in here. Are you an abuser? Because sometimes, unbeknownst, the abused can become an abuser. Um, and unbeknownst, sometimes abusers are abusing and they're not even aware of it. And I know that seems hard to believe, but it's true. Um, there's also... Um, a section in here for you to build out your acknowledgement statement where you actually have to write down and acknowledge exactly where you are in this process acknowledge that this this happens to you and there's you know you've got space to to write it out there's another one if you want to write it and i recommend you tear it out of the book post it on on a mirror somewhere sit it on a wall um so that you acknowledge and it walks you through what that process actually is to to create that acknowledgement statement and to admit it first and foremost to yourself. Okay. First and foremost to yourself. And then, um, but just tons of, there's exercises in here, guys. This is, this is a tool. This is not just a book. Okay. It's, it's a tool. Um, so you can, like I said, you can reach out to me. You can order the book. Um, talk with one of our training advocates. Talk with one of our support advocates. Go to nine seconds.org and someone will respond to your message. There's a contact page for you to send us um, your information and someone will call you or email you back and reach out to you. Um, and I only have one ask for many of these videos and that's if you hear something, share something. So please share this video out. I hope that you heard something that was valuable um, or useful and please share the video out because you just never know who's on your timeline, who's behind the scenes. Um, it could be somebody that's very, very close to you and you have no clue and that's it's not your fault like we don't want to we don't want to make our abuse known so um but sharing the video out um sharing the information out may just save a life so that's my message for today day nine of our 31 days of prevention series if you've missed any of the videos in this series they're all available on my youtube channel at youtube.com forward slash Marcy Batiste and you can find the whole gamut there. You can also find them on our website at 9seconds.org. So have an amazing weekend, y'all. I'll be back tomorrow with day 10 of our 31 days of prevention. Until then, stay well, stay blessed, and stay safe.